Hello, I am Karen Cornick, head teacher at Patchway Community School, and I'm delighted to be able to introduce our school to year six students and their parents, and possibly year five students as well, if you joined us. This presentation uh, supplements uh, our open evening where young people are able to come and meet with our staff and our students, and also some after school uh, tours. Uh, if, you, if you're able to take part in one of those. Um, were we running um, the kind of open evening that we usually run, and we weren't currently in, in a, a situation where we were responding to um, COVID, um, then there would be a presentation by myself and Dave Baker. And at this point, I would usually introduce Dave Baker, who would tell you something about the trust, the other schools that we work with, um, and our ethos and culture within the trust, which, which comes through to our school. Dave's presentation is available on our website, um, and please do have a look at that um, at the end of this presentation if you'd like to. Uh, I think it's a really good point for me to talk about where, where Patchway sits within the trust. So uh, our strength is that we're part of um, a wider trust uh, where we're that one of uh, five secondary schools. Uh, and it means that we can work closely with colleagues within the trust, drawing on them for um, support, um, offering our expertise, and really pushing forward, in particular, the teaching profession throughout, throughout um, continuing professional development. We're also able to offer students lots of opportunities between the trust schools. So our students in year 10 and 11 can take up a big opportunity GCSE programme by um, uh, participating in some courses at other schools and obviously our six formers travel between all five centres for their studies. Over the past um, four or five years the trust has supported us enormously. We joined in 2017 and um, you can see here some of the improvements that have been brought about they're all about improving our school uh, for our young people. You'll be aware that our building is quite old. It's a 1950s building. Um, but we, with the Trust, have invested an enormous amount in bringing up to a really good standard for our young people. And the best news we've received this year is that Patchway has been selected as one of 50 new builds um, for schools that's going to happen in the next few years. We've already started to work with the DfE on this project and we hope that uh, our, our new school will be open by the end of 2023, certainly by spring 2024. This is something that's really exciting for existing students and also for new students such as the year sixes who are, who've joined us, who've joined me now. Um, I'll just share with you who you might see uh, if you come into our school. Um, this is the, the leadership team. Those of you who have children with um, additional learning needs will probably meet with um, Mrs. Thomas, who is uh, our SENCO. Um, but at varying points, you might meet with any one of my senior colleagues here. So our aims, our mission, if you like, is to ensure that all of our, our, our young people at the end of their studies with us, and we hope those studies will uh, last until they're 18, but they'll stay with us into the sixth form, that all of those young people have outcomes at GCSE and at post-16 level, which give them the choice of going to university. So it doesn't mean that everybody has to go to university, but for those who want to go, they can choose which university. They can choose from Russell Group. They can choose from Oxford or Cambridge. It's their choice because their qualifications are high enough. Or they might choose a level three apprenticeship. Or they might choose to move straight into a management trainee programme. But all of those are competitive. And companies are looking for students with the highest grades. And those are our high aspirations for our young people. Our values are here. They are respect, endeavour and success. And you'll find that they run through everything that we do in our school and, and, and that our young people can talk about their achievements in these areas. One of the key aspects of our school is that we have um, built our relationships on respect. And that's amongst staff, amongst students, and of course, between staff and students. We are 
a relatively small school within the trust still. And it means that we get to know all of our students as they join us and as they progress through to year 11 and to the sixth form. And we are able to build those strong relationships with them. Part of that's done through our pastoral support and it is outstanding pastoral support. We have a large student support team. Each student has a tutor, a year leader, and attached to their uh, year group is a student support mentor. And the student support team offer um, support over a range of issues for young people. So when things aren't going well at home, when things have gone wrong on the way into school, um, when there are very big issues in young people's lives, but also when there are small issues, because for young people, everyday things, particularly social media, will affect them. And our, our pastoral support team and, and structure is there to support them every step. We place a lot of emphasis on getting the basics right. Um, we're really insistent that students turn up in the right uniform and we check uniform every day at the gate. We check it throughout the day. We're very keen that students attend. We know that if students are in school, then they have the highest chance of reaching those high aspirations I talked about, of getting the highest grades that they can and making um, successful futures for themselves. Attendance and punctuality are really key. As you'd expect, we've got really clear behaviour expectations, and one of those is that mobile phones can't be used in school. So we expect children to come in in the morning, put their phone into their locker, leave it there all day, and then they can take it out at the end of the day. We want students who endeavour to be their best. So respect, endeavour, success are our values. And endeavour is the, is the part where students are really working hard in lessons. So we've got, we've got a very strong focus on academic achievement on helping children to progress in each lesson and in each homework. But linked to that is their personal development. It's not all about what happens in exams. It's not all about what happens in tests and assessments and in classwork. It's very much about what else children um, can commit themselves to. In the tutor session in the morning, we've got a, a reading programme, which happens regularly throughout the week. We've got a strong student council where young people make their views heard. We've got a really wide extracurricular programme and a wide range of trips, some of which um, fall into our enrichment week that we run every year in July. So it's a wonderful week where we have a range of um, trips abroad, trips residential in the UK, and lots of activities that happen here at, at Base Patchway. And we've got a comprehensive careers programme. So right from the start, we're talking to our young people about their futures, about their career pathways, about broadening their thoughts about where they will go with their qualifications. We hope at the end of the day that we, we are able to develop successful young citizens. It's more than being successful in exams. It's being successful and ready for life. So we've got... Um, a, a personal development program which is grounded in citizenship and in British values. We've got a strong emphasis on building healthy relationships, um, working through our relationships and sex education um, curriculum, and, 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 and also a strong focus on personal safety. So safeguarding for us is at the heart of everything that we do, and that's about training our staff but it's also very much about training our young people so they know how to look after themselves and they know how to look after each other. Key to this for us is our, our ambassadors. So we've got student ambassadors um, who support with mental welfare, um, with anti-bullying, with a whole range of diversity issues. So it, it's as much about us uh, educating young people as it is about them learning how to support and look after each other. We have good outcomes in Patchway Community School. You can see here that um, over 40% of our students achieve the higher GCSE grade of grade five. And our A level results, which includes BTEX as well, reached almost 50% at A star to B level, which is fantastic in terms of student progress. Here are some, some of our top names, if you like. 
So students who've got the whole collection of eights and nines uh, in their uh, GCSE portfolio and who, who are going on to post-16 studies. And at post-16, some examples of our students, um, you can see there are two Russell Group universities, um, students with uh, collections of A grades uh, who, are, who are going on to successful futures. One of the key things that we uh, ensure students are entitled to here is a really challenging curriculum. So we've got a heavy focus on maths and English, and that starts in year seven, where there are, there are a lot of lessons in, in maths and English to really get those basics grounded into students. We have a humanities curriculum in year seven, so that geography, history, and religious education are combined. It gives a more holistic themed approach, and it helps children make that transition from year six, where they've been doing topic-based work into year seven. At GCSE, all students can either do double science or separate sciences, and we expect all students to choose history or geography for GCSE, um, but they're also able to choose computing or French, so they're, they're, they're called the back subjects. And then we've got a really wide range of additional subjects for our students. Um, so you can see that the, the list there, iMedia is probably our newest subject that we put in. Um, currently, music, dance and drama, students um, go out to our partner schools, on a Wednesday afternoon to do those subjects. Uh, by the time this year's seven group comes through, those subjects will be based within, within our own school for GCSE as our, as our school grows. I mentioned the enrichment earlier on. We've got a really wide enrichment programme. And if you have a look on our website, you'll be able to see this year's, um, well, terms one and two, uh, enrichment offer for our young people. And take up is phenomenal. It, it's, it's brilliant after school to see so many children engaging in, in their clubs and you can you can see the range there we're really lucky obviously to have the astro turf which means that um, we have exclusive use of it in that that slot between um, after school and probably early evening um, and so we can run a whole range of uh, sports activities there and we also do inter school matches as you'd expect thinking about year six coming up into year seven um, it's a really, uh, it's a really important time for them, and it's a time often where year six is whatever their ability, whatever their experiences at primary school um, need support. So we have, um, well, we start um, once students receive their offers um, on the first of March. We start off with our big family breakfast. So we invite you, um, your child, um, your extended family, if you like, um, basically anyone except the dog. Um, to come along and join us on a Saturday morning in mid-March for uh, a, a really lovely family breakfast. Great chance for your child to get to um, meet staff, um, meet the year lead, uh, for you to talk to the Senko if you need to, and for, for our year sixes just to see who else is coming to their school, to get a sense of what it might feel like to be in Patchwork Community School. We follow this up then with welcome days in um, June, July for our, for our young people. So that's the same days uh, happen in all of our trust secondary schools. They're coordinated with the primary schools. And obviously if your child has additional needs, then um, the Senko will be uh, working with you and your family in the primary school. Our year seven leader at the moment, Ms. Johnson, um, and our student support mentor, Ms. Woolley, uh, both spend a great deal of time in term six in primary schools, finding out about how your child's doing, how, uh, who their friends are, um, how, you know, what their achievements are, what their successes are, how they work outside of school, and, and pulling that all together so that we can prepare and support them for their transition. So I hope I've been able to give you a flavour of Patchway Community School, of our ethos and our values, and what we offer our young people. And in particular, how we support you and your year six child in making that transition from primary to secondary school. I've put some information there about the application deadlines and the, on the offer day. They are national um, deadlines and, and, and offer day across the country. Um, you can find out more on our website. Um, if you have any queries, you can contact our um, trust admissions lead directly. So that's Lisa Stevens. And again, information for that is, is, is on our website. I'd like to thank you for joining me um, and to say that I hope you have had a chance to come and have a look around our school by the time you're looking at this. 
If you haven't and you would like to tour, um, right now because of COVID, we're not offering tours within the day, um, but we, we are offering some tours after school. So just contact us, just put a, an email into our PCS inquiries email address, and then we'll get back to you and we'll arrange something for yourself and your child. Thank you so much.